We've had loads of questions and comments about how to update face packs and other graphics mega packs for Football Manager 2024. So in this video, I'm going to go through and update everything and show you how easy it is to do. Now, before we get into things, I would definitely recommend watching the essential install guides for everything from player faces to logos to kits to all of the, those things. They will give you the full guide on how to install things if it's your first time. But if you're just looking to do an update, it's as simple as what you need to see in this video. You go onto the cut out player faces mega pack page and then you can see here there's the video. You can just download change files. If you click on this and make sure you are logged into the Sort It Out SI website, it will tell you what you have and haven't downloaded. So you can see here, I downloaded the complete pack on the 19th of October and then subsequently installed the two update packs following that. I haven't installed the third update pack that came out just before Christmas and the fourth update pack, which has probably come out after I've recorded this video, but before it's been released. So that will be on there as well. All you need to do is click the update file and if you are a premium member, it will download automatically. If you are a regular member, you will just have a couple of uh, mirror links to click on and they will just download. It just should just be one single file. It's not massive and it will download pretty quickly. It's about 200 meg roughly for each update pack. As, you, as I've said, if you look here, as soon as you've clicked the update, obviously I'm recording this on the 19th, um, you can see I've updated the file today. Um, after this video has been recorded and released, there will probably be uh, the fourth update pack for January because that they come out sort of every month towards the end of the month after we've got out of the release cycle of the game. So once that download is completed, you simply head to your downloads folder and extract the files as we did in the original video. And I'll go through that process right now. So in your downloads folder, you will have the cutout mega pack changes file that you need to extract. You simply right click and use whatever extraction software you do. I've got seven up, that's what I use. You can just use a built-in one if you want on Windows or Mac. Extract everything out into your downloads page and it should take probably about 30 seconds, 40 seconds, something like that. Depending on the speed of your computer, it might take 10, it might take a minute or two, but don't worry, it will get there. As you can see on screen right now, we're halfway through and I'm just filling a bit of time by talking. As I've said, the link to the install guides for the full uh, suite of graphics will be included in the uh, end of this video and in the description probably as well, but they're available on the website. So click on every time you go to a download, the most relevant video will be there for you. So once the um, files have all extracted, we will have a look at what you need to do. Right, so the file has extracted here. You can go into the folder and there should be a change uh, uh, within the sorted SSI folder, a faces folder and an icon faces folder as well. I'm gonna have a quick look basically at one player to see in game that he hasn't got a face already just to show that the pack has updated. So I'm gonna copy the unique ID from the last file uh, on there and go to the sort out SI website and go to the FM database section and just put that number in and it should bring up the right player. It's Yale Tebolt, uh, who is in the Stadrone youth team. He's 16. You can see on the website he's got a face. So if you go into the game, however, and you put on the IDs uh, for players, you can find this player, as I've done here, and he doesn't have a face in the game just yet because I haven't used the most, update, uh, most updated face pack, which we're installing today. As you can see, faces and icon faces are the two folders. You basically go into them, select everything, copy or cut them, go into your Football Manager folder, go to, it is within your documents or the link for Mac will be in the description as well. Go to graphics, go to faces, wherever you've installed them within the graphics folder. Go to your main faces folder, wait for it to stop loading them because there's loads of faces in there. There's like 100,000, two, four hundred, lots, lots of faces in there. Basically go in and press paste and it will paste them in. And when you get to a point where they are trying to overwrite faces that are already in there, just say yes, I'd like to overwrite them, which I'll show you on screen in a second. It's just gonna zip through really quickly. Okay, we've got about 60% of the way through and it slowly ticks down to zero, which means a pop-up is about to come up in a second to ask if you want to overwrite the 2,600 odd files with the same file name, which we do, we want to click yes, and it will then move over the new faces and overwrite the ones that were already there. Basically, this is just updating uh, players' faces for a more up-to-date version. Some of them will be quite old and putting in a new face to match the player. As you can see, they're going through now. We're about 95% complete and we will go through and have a look in game that has happened. But before we do that, we've moved over the faces. We need to do the same with the icon faces folder, put it in the same place, in the same location. And it was quite simple to do so. Okay, so back in the download location, you will see here a config file and a load of other files of 6,000 odd as there was in the last one. In the icon faces folder, you do the same as we did in the faces folder and put them in icon faces, paste them in, overwrite where necessary, and everything will be 
working fantastically in game and I'll show you what you need to do in game the last step once all of the files have moved across. Okay, once again, two and a half thousand files still need moving across to overwrite what's already there. Just click yes and overwrite the files that are already in place. And then when we get to the end, we'll go and see what we need to do in game to check that everything's worked. Okay, that's all complete. So all the files from the update pack should be in place for both the faces and the icon faces. So if we go across to game here, we can see obviously nothing's updated yet. We've not sent anything to update in game. We need to go to the preferences menu from the FM drop down at the top right. Click on preferences and it's a nice simple thing. It's the same thing you had to do when you installed the Mega Plug in the first place. So if you remember what to do there, it should be quite straightforward. You need to make sure that the use caching decrease page loading times is unticked. Reload skin when confirming changes and preferences ticked and you can do what you want with the IDs in title. Well, you don't need them on unless you are looking for certain things or trying to update skins. So basically hit confirm or reload skin and the skin will change. The new faces that you've put into that folder will now update and everything should hopefully pull through as we would expect. And this guy here, Yal T-Bolt, will have his face. So if we go back into game, we will soon see, once everything's loaded, that everything looks fantastic. We're just gonna now skip forward through the magic of editing. And here we are then, the game has updated the skin and you can see Yal T-Bolt has now got his photo to match the update pack. Fantastic, the Ren under 19 squad is slowly filling out. There's a couple of players in there, so hopefully with the next update pack, more of these young players will be included and more and more every time we get updated as faces are available for all of the players that do not currently have them. Uh, you'll notice the players that don't have a face in the Mega Pack have got the black silhouette outline. If you have got a player where they have just got no face wear there whatsoever, something is wrong with the config file. So you need to basically go in and look with that player's ID to make sure that it is being matched up in the config file. Right, we've done that now. We're gonna go and have a look at some logo packs as well. So I use the FMG logos Mega Pack and I believe there has definitely been up some update packs included since I've last installed it. So looking at there, I don't think I'm installed. No, I haven't. So this is the key thing about being logged in so you can see when you've downloaded files. I downloaded the complete pack on the 20th of October and have neglected all updates since then. So I'm gonna update, um, download all three updates here. Click the download button, it will start downloading them. Actually, the update packs are bigger than the update pack for the face packs. So there we go. As you can see there, we did a video like this last year for Football Manager 2023. That has got some, basically the same sort of instructions that we've got today. Um, but that's there as well if you want to watch that and some of the other great videos on the Sort Out SI channel. If you want to subscribe to our YouTube channel, make sure you do so you see videos like this and all of the other great ones we've got around. Also, subscribe to my own personal channel. I've just about finished the Beat the 92 challenge that I've been playing with my main save for FM24. I'm about to start the Glory Hunter, so get on board with that before things kick off. Right, the three downloads have finished. We don't need the Sort Out SI face mega pack anymore. We do need the logo changes pack. So basically go to all of them, extract them all using your extraction software, just extract them to this folder and we can go from there. So let them just run away in the background and extract. Subscribe to both YouTube channels I've told you about. Subscribe to the Flying Scotsman as well. He's here on the channel on Sort It Out SI. And we'll be back in a second when all these changes have extracted. Okay then, there they are. We need to go back into the graphics folder once again and to logos, FMG logos. And this is the folder here. We're going to do things slightly different than we did last time. So we're not going to go into all of the uh, folders from within the download. We're just going to select them all, hit cut and paste them in here and it will overwrite things it needs to overwrite and not delete anything that's already there. So let's just do that for all three uh, update packs that you've just downloaded. I'm going to run through a bit of this one, go on triple speed or quadruple speed or whatever. You'll see me moving around in the background and then we'll come back and see how things have gone. So as before, when you get to a point where it asks you to replace the files in the destination with the ones from the update pack, hit yes and the green tick to replace them. And make sure you, as we've downloaded more than one pack, make sure you install them in the right order. So if you update pack one, two, and three, do update pack one first, then update pack two, then update pack three. So you are overwriting the right files in the right order because you don't want to put update pack three in and then overwrite it with update pack one because then you'll get some old logos going in and it won't be perfect and you will basically just need to download the Mega Pack again and start from fresh. So we've jumped forward now onto pack three of the update pack. So as we said, do them in the order. I've done one and then two off screen and now doing update pack three. It's gonna be ready in a couple of minutes. So again, we're gonna do the magic of doing it really fast and just 
see what happens in the background so you can see it happening and you don't accuse me of just skipping things so there you go it's going to happen in the background we're at 41 percent complete in a few seconds it'll be 100 percent and there we go so all of the update packs have been installed and everything should be in the logos folder as it was before we'll go back into day game and do exactly the same thing so for completeness it's fm preferences scroll down until you get to the skin section which is here make sure that use caching is unticked reload skin is ticked and hit confirm or reload skin and it will zoom forward and get everything back in from the logo pack we're gonna have a quick look through the logo pack to see what's been changed to make sure that new things have happened i, I if we just search for uh, sort by most recently updated we shall see that whatever the last updated file in here is now updated in game and it'll take a while to load because there's quite a few thousand files in this folder 74,000 so it's not as many as the face pack which was 450,000 but it's quite a lot so just give it a second to load up find the most recent updated fa uh, logo in here and go and check in game that the right club has got the right logo Okay, so we've found here Hungerford Town are one of the most recently updated thing, and FM has finished doing its business in the background as well. So we've searched for Hungerford Town, and we'll make sure that they have got the same logo that's in the logo updated pack, and they have, so everything looks like it has gone through properly. And they've also got kits, which I've installed in a kit pack, which you can see in a different video on the, how to install kits for FM24. So there we go. Everything has been done. You've updated your face packs. You've updated your logo packs. If you've got kits, that's all included in the kit video all of the other mega packs so your backgrounds will all work in the same way so just download the update pack install it in the same way we've done today and everything and then update in game and everything should hopefully pull through if you've got any issues let us know in the comments we'll try and help you otherwise i will see you on the next video here's some great ones that you should check out and i'll catch you then